every move I make, every breath I take. First Samuel chapter 22. We're going to read one verse of scripture. The word of the Lord reads, David departed from there and escaped the cave of the Abdullam. And when his brothers and all his father's house heard it, they went down there to him. Let's say amen to the reading of God's word. Today we're in part five of our Honor Cove series. Today we're going to teach, we're going to preach with this thought in our hearts and in our minds. Honor got me in this mess. Honor got me in this mess. A posture of honor is an investment. See, when I, when I walk honorably, I may not see the dividends today, but I'll see the dividends when, when, I, when I need it the most. Let me talk to the individual who is, who is squandering their season right now and you don't know and you don't realize the gravity of what it is that you're doing. It's a little folding of the hands. It's a little taking your foot off the gas. It's a little bit of, well, I don't need this and well, it's not important, but you don't realize that what you're doing, the grinding that you're doing in this season, it will be your harvest that you have in the next season. And here, the seeds that you're sowing today will be the harvest that you're reaping tomorrow. And oftentimes, we get to the place where we wait for a big moment and we wait for a big harvest time but you don't have a harvest because you didn't plant any seed a posture of honor produces isolation and I tell you that sometimes honor and a posture of honor when you're trying to honor God and you're honoring your marriage and you're honoring God with your finances. And I tell you that sometimes it will push you into a dark place. Because I tell you, my friend, you might be going through some dark days, but you cannot allow the darkness that you're facing to cause you to get to the place where you, you nullify what it is that you're supposed to be doing. You cannot allow the fact that you're struggling right now. You cannot allow the fact that your mind and your thoughts are racing right now. You cannot allow the fact that you got more month than you got money you cannot allow the fact that where things are acting the way and going the way you want them to go but no God is pushing you God is pushing you into a cave God is pushing you to a place where you can be alone he's pushing you to a place where he can talk to you he's pushing you to a place where where all your distractions are gone he's pushing you to a place where it's not time to hang out it's not time for you to be on the scene it's not time for you to be at everybody's birthday party it's not time for you to be shutting this down and shutting that down God wants to push you into a place of isolation posture of Honor is inviting. It is inviting. That's why you need to be healed. That's why you need to be healed from all your past hurt because God has a way of sending people back around. The same people that hurt you. The same people that offended you. The same people that did this and did that even dogged you out are the same individuals that God will send to your cave. And God will say to you, I need you to be whole so you can help them. I need you to be whole so you can pray for them. I need you to be whole so you're not dangling over their head, reminding them of what they did and how they did it. Oh, can I tell you, my friend, an posture of honor is invited because people know when you do what you do. People know when your heart is pure. People know when your hands are pure. People know when your feet are pure that they're able to come to you because you're a safe place. Honor gives me access. The posture of honor, it, is, it gives us insight or it produces insight. It is very insightful whenever it is that I, that I receive honor. But because you don't honor properly and because you don't respond properly, because you just go through the motion, my friend, you're missing the insight that God desires to give you. Lord, have mercy. Can I tell you that insight produces peace? Yes, it does. Who came to the cave? First Samuel 22 and 2 says, and everyone who was distressed, these people are stressed out. These people are overwhelmed. But whenever they're you come to the cave and you receive the insight that produces peace in your life. Lord, you don't got to go through life being stressed out. David is just hiding for his life, but God sent people to the cave. And when God sent these men to the cave, David leveled them up and helped them to be able to be who it is that God has called them to be. Lord, have mercy. I'm telling you that insight brings about some peace. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know what you need, but God desires to give you some peace. God is saying you don't got to walk, you don't got to, you got to pace the floor every night. 
tonight. You don't got to toss and got to turn, but God can send you to the house of the Lord and you get a word that will give you peace in the midst of a storm. God will send you to the house of the Lord and God let you tune in to your pastor and you can get the word of the Lord that will be able to carry you to where David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because the Lord on behalf of our pastors, Pastor Kobe and Camilla Nesbitt, as well as the Truth and Love Ministries family, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. Remember to like, share, and repost. Right here, right now, we invite you to partner with us as we continue to impact our surrounding communities. You can help us through your generosity. Here are some simple, safe, and secure ways to do just that. You can text TIL Jack to the number 77977 or scan the QR code on your screen. Go to our website at www.truthinlove.tv or go to the Apple or Google Play Store and download the app Truth in Love Jack. Not only can you show your generosity there, but it will keep you informed. We thank you for your participation and for your generosity. We will see you next time. Here comes the church.